So if you're a normal person and you hear people talking about Vim or Emacs or all these extensible text editors, uh, you probably think like it's a big joke or it's something just for like weird programmers. Uh, but I wanted to do this video just because I wanted to show off just the little optimizations you can get from Vim, um, you know, just from playing around with it, just like in the day by day stuff you have to do. Um, so today I was a little bored, so I was going through my folder of TV shows. Uh, of course, I download everything I watch, that's just my habit. Um, so I'm not vouching for all the TV shows in here, by the way. I'll just say that. But anyway, um, so if you'll notice, you know, over here on the, the right side, there are some, some names that are sort of you know, all jumbled up. Uh, and I like to have my file names nice and uh, good looking and stuff. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you what Vim can help me do, uh, you know, just renaming files in mass and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm actually in Ranger, for those of you who don't know. Ranger has this very nice function called uh, bulk rename. Uh, and what it does is it can open up all of these file names. <clears throat> Let me actually make these a little bigger. Uh, it can open up uh, all the file names in a Vim buffer, and I can modify them here, and then save it, and then it'll rename all the files for me. So that's a nice thing. Um, so, in this, so here's my goal that I want to do in Vim. So I have all of these names, all these different lines. I want to convert them into something more simple, something more readable. Um, so I guess here I want to have, let's say I want to say like episode, and then the episode number. And then I want to have the name of the, uh, you know, the, the actual episode. I don't want to have any of this stuff. I don't want to have all these underscores. I don't want to have all these uh, 720p stuff or any of these. Uh, I don't even know what this stuff in, is in brackets. So I want to get rid of it nice and fast. Uh, so let's do that in Vim. Um, so a couple things you can do. Uh, actually, I'm going to turn on the screen key so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Uh, but first, I'm up here in the top left corner. The first thing I'm going to do is delete all of this stuff up until, uh, you know, the episode number. And then I'm going to replace it with just something like episode. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make a visual block. You, you do that with control V. And this you can move around just in case you don't know. And of course you can make modifications. You can delete what you highlight. Uh, you can, you know, replace what you highlight with C. Um, so if I press C and I start typing, then I press escape. Uh, when I press escape, it's going to replace all of those different lines with whatever I typed. Uh, so anyway, what I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, um, you know, visual block everything. Then I'm going to press G to go to the very bottom. Uh, then I'm going to, let's, you know, move over word by word till we get to where we want. Uh, something like this. Uh, and once I'm here, I'm going to press C um, to replace it. And I'm going to replace it with episode, um, something like that, then press escape once I'm done typing, and it's now put it on every single line that I modified. That's great. Um, so let's see, what else do I want to do? Uh, now I really don't like that all these hyphens are here, I sort of want to get rid of them. Uh, so the easiest way to do that in Vim is just with a mass substitute. Uh, and you actually learned that in Vim Tutor, if you don't remember, but I'll just tell you how to do it. Uh, look down here in the you know command I'm typing. Uh, so press colon, uh, and then the command you want to run is uh, percent sign s, and that's you know substitute uh, on each line. Uh, then you have a uh, 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 slash, and then what you want to replace. So the thing I want to replace is underscore. Then another slash, uh, and then what you want to put in in place of the underscore. And I want to put a space. Uh, now you have to use a uh, you know, backslash or whatever to escape it, but I'll just press backslash and then space. Uh, and then another uh, slash. Uh, and then at the very end you say G, and that means not just one instance on every line, but every actual occurrence. Then I run that, and you'll see that all of these underscores have been replaced. Um, so, of course, if you're wondering, this might seem like, oh, I'm doing everything very gradually. In actual practice, I do this extremely fast in Vim. I'm just sort of explaining everything to you. Uh, but anyway, so now we're at a point where things are starting to look very clear and good um, in these file names. I just want to get rid of these like bracket sequences. These are getting a little annoying. Um, now, there are a couple ways you can probably do this. Uh, but I think I'm going to do it with a macro. Um, now I did another video on recording macros, it's super easy. How you do it is first you press Q, uh, and then you press any other, notice that I'm on the first line by the way, uh, but uh, you press Q and then any other key you want to record the macro as. I'll record it as D or something like that. 
Um, so now I'm going to press the sequences of commands I want for the first line uh, that it's going to generalize to all the other lines. So first I'm going to press 0, and that's just to put me at the beginning of the line just in case I'm not already. Uh, then I'm going to say F, which is find, and then left bracket. And that's going to seek the next left bracket that it can find. Um, now I'm going to get rid of this bracket sequence uh, with delete around bracket. And now all of that bracket sequence has been deleted. Um, now I'm at this empty space. I think I'll press X to get rid of it. Now I'll press, I'm at the next bracket sequence, so I'll press delete around the bracket. Uh, now there's one more space that's actually the, the space before me, so I'm just going to press H and uh, X to get rid of it. Uh, and the last thing I'm going to do is go down a line uh, and then press 0 to get to exactly where I began you know, the command in the first place. And then finally I'm going to press the Q. Okay, and that's it. Now our macro is recorded. So if we want to run it, we just press at and D, the letter we recorded it as. So now the second line, the, the macro has been recorded on the second line. And of course we can press, you know, uh, 23 or whatever uh, for all the lines we want to run it on and press it all those times. Oops, should have pressed 24, but whatever. Uh, so now all of the lines have been changed to the exact specifications that we want. Um, so yeah, now this looks very clear and readable. Actually, you know what? I think episode is, uh, you know, a little too much writing. I might actually, oops, I might actually replace this with, uh, we'll say like um, E or something like that. That's it takes up a little too much room. Um, so anyway, that's all I have to do now. In this, I just save this buffer. It asks for confirmation. Um, and that's it. Now all of my uh, files have been renamed. They look very nice now. Uh, so that's sweet. And let's see if there's any other ones I can do this on. Uh, okay, these. A little, little embarrassed to, you know, for people to know that I have Carl's, or what is it, Neil deGrasse Tyson's Cosmos. But, you know, anyway. Uh, and I can clean these up as well. Let's say I would just want to get rid of, um, uh, you know, I only want to have the season and episode number. Actually, I should probably do a visual block, of course. Um, so I'll just get rid of these. Again, visual block, highlighting everything up until this point. Um, you can press D or X to delete. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same uh, out here. So we're going to have uh, all this and just delete it. And that's all you have to do. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> I've done this very slow, but just bear in mind when I'm actually doing this at my own pace, uh, you know, you get a whole lot of speed. Uh, and of course, I just changed all of these files at a very abstract level very quickly, so you can get a whole lot about uh, a whole lot with this. Uh, and of course, this goes for any kind of programming you're doing or any kind of modification you're doing at a daily basis. Uh, and this is one of the reasons where. Uh, you know why people don't just use Vim, but they have programs like Ranger that allow you to use Vim to do more and more powerful things. Use the extensionality of Vim to do these things like renaming files. Um, so anyway, this has just been you know a sort of view into daily life using Vim or Emacs. So hope you enjoyed it. So throw something in the comments if you have any questions.